Hello everybody, today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Chevy Equinox RS all-wheel drive. Starting off up front, we're gonna have a full LED headlight uh, package. I believe down here your fog lights and your turn signals are incandescent. Parking sensors are integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. Blacked out grille and Chevy bow tie with your front facing camera right here. Your RS badge is gonna be on the driver's side. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup, we have some Hankook Kinetergy GT tires, and that tire size is a 23550R18. Really nice gray 18 inch Chevy wheel. We have this nice plastic applique along the rocker panels to protect against rock chips and then eventually corrosion. Equinox badging is blacked out being the RS. Color match mirror caps with your 360 degree mirror mounted cameras right here. This vehicle does have the passive entry system so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger side door. Right here we have a gloss black roof rack, your capless fuel fill port, LED tail lamp with incandescent bulbs, blacked out Equinox badging, as well as your all wheel drive badging and then your RS logo. Blacked out bow tie and your backup camera is gonna be right underneath. Parking sensors are gonna be integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper and it looks like you do get a trailer hitch receiver behind that plastic piece. Overall, this red tint coat metallic looks really pretty. I'm hoping it's coming through for you guys on camera. Uh, the, the way the light hits, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting off over on the driver's side door, down here we actually have the button to open the trunk. You can open it max, three quarters of the way or off. If it's in the off position, you have to actually go up to the trunk itself and open it. Right here we have all the window controls. The driver's window is automatic up and down. In front of that we have all the mirror controls. Right here we have the rotary dial uh, dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. And then next to that we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Coming up to the instrument cluster we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, miscellaneous gauges in the middle, and then a LCD screen under that. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have these really nice leather wrapped mild bolsters and red stitching throughout. The red stitching is gonna be the RS accent color. Right here we have the cruise control buttons as well as your adaptive cruise control gap adjustment, heated steering wheel button, and your lane keep assist button. Over here we have the steering wheel mounted uh, phone controls, and then the control pad for the center LCD display. Right here we have the touchscreen display. This uses the uh, older style uh, touchscreen operating software. I actually prefer this over the new Google UI. Um, it's just minimalistic. It still has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, navigation. You can control a lot of stuff from here as well as your camera system. I like this touchscreen a lot. It's very responsive and you do have a lot of features. Under that you have physical buttons for the radio, your automatic start stop off button, hazard light button, dual zone climate control as well as heated seat button. Below that you have an SD card reader, USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt outlet. Nice little storage tray right here, all wheel drive button, parking sensor button, two cup holders, RS badged shifter with manual plus minus on the side then you have your electronic parking brake right here storage tray and that brings us back to the center armrest open it up giving us access to a very deep storage compartment with a removable tray and you also have two usb ports in there as well leather wrapped rs seats with the rs badge and then the red stitching glove box is going to be right here Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for passenger as well as your driver. Up top on the headliner, we have the glasses storage compartment. These buttons right here control the twin pane sunroof. We have the LED dome map light master control buttons as well as your OnStar and SOS buttons and then a non-dimming 
rear view mirror. Let's take a quick look at the back and see how much leg room we have. So sitting in the back seat, I have about four to five inches of leg room before my knees hit the front seat. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seat. Rear air conditioning vents right here, two USBs, 120 volt, 150 watt power outlet down there. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. Really nice twin pane sunroof and surprisingly I actually have a little bit of headroom before my head hits the headliner. Because of the twin pane sunroof, your map light, hanger hook, and grab handle is gonna be on the outermost portion of the headliner. And it's actually surprisingly pretty comfy back here. Let's take a quick look at the trunk and see how much cargo space we have. So there's a couple ways to open the trunk on this vehicle. The first way is with the key fob, I don't have that. Second way is with the button on the driver's side door. And the third way is the traditional way. You're gonna come up to it, push the button underneath the blacked out Chevy bow tie, and it's going to open for you. Decent amount of storage in this guy. You have some in-floor storage right here. The full size spare, I believe, is underneath, or that may be a donut. Right here, you pull these two latches and these seats will actually fold down almost flat. If you are at the doors, you can pull on this latch right here, unlock the seat, and then it will fold down for you. Once you're done back here, come to the right side of the trunk lid, push the button, it'll beep at you a couple times, and then it will automatically close. So there you have it, 2023 Chevy Equinox RS all-wheel drive. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date on more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.